Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn how to set up SSH key on GitLab. Okay, so in this video we will learn how to create HHS key and how to add HHS key to GitLab and how to clone GitLab repo using HHS key and push local code to GitLab. Okay, so let's see. Firstly, we will see what is meant by SSH key. SSH stands for secure cell or secure socket cell. It is used for managing the networks, operating system and configuration and also authenticates to GitLab server without using username, password each time. Okay, so you can set the SSH key to provide a reliable connection between the computer and GitLab. Okay, so see how we can set it. Okay, so first step is what? To create SSS key, firstly you have to open command prompt or your git bash. Okay, so I will open the git bash, search for here git bash. Open it. Okay. Let me maximize it. Okay. Now it's open. Now what we have to do? This SSH hyphen key gen. This command we have to run in the GitLab. Okay. So see SSH hyphen key gen. Enter. And see. Uh, he will, uh, it asks us our file, enter the file location to save the, this dot SSH key. Okay. So if you have to change this location to save this file, then you can uh, give your part of that. Okay. I kept as it is. So enter. After that, it asks us passphrase means we have to use your password okay so if you have requirement of the password it's secure for your applications or your uh, git repo then you set set it okay so i will keep as it is i will uh, did, did not does not uh, set this password so enter and again this is a re again password and this is set in that location. C user power and dot SHS. And here this ID and uh, uh, underscore RSA pub, pub, publicly and this one is private. Okay. So see now we have get the SHS key in our this folder. So let's find out sshs.cr okay so when i open it this hhs then these two files are present here this one file and it's a microsoft publisher so i will open it my microsoft publisher this one then open with firstly click on that and open with notepad and it's a private key and it's public and private both Okay, it's a private key and ID underscore RSA dot pub. This is a public. Okay, so this is a key of the public and this is a key for the private. So, next step is all the information given here. You can refer this. So, now second step is you have to log in with GitLab. Okay. So, firstly, you have to log in with. So, I have already logged in in GitLab. Okay. So, after that, you have to go profile and edit firstly. Okay. 
after the edit then you will get this hssd okay so i click on this and now you have to uh, this key copy from this copy from this id underscore rsa pub dot pub means this key so select and copy from this and paste here in the key text area okay this key field area okay so i will paste here after that if you have to change this title for that publicity publicly visible then enter as a header okay so after the you uses of type you can select it i will select both for the authentication and signing okay so expiration date i will close it and if you have to add this key add this key then click on this add key okay so click after that this key save in your get tab okay so if you are you want to delete from uh, your gitlab this key then click on this delete okay so now i will go the home page and see the next step so these are the process and the sshs key successfully add here so now what is next uh, next step then uh, we will see how to clone project from gitlab so how it's clone firstly you have to go to gitlab go in that project and in that project see here four files are there okay demo one demo two demo three demo four like that this is a these are the four files okay so these four files or this project we have to clone from the gitlab to our local computer so what we have to do now so click on this clone and copy this clone with hss okay so copy and go to the where you have to clone this project and in that uh, folder you have to right click and open the git pad bash sorry and after that you have to use command git clone and paste this link clone okay enter and see here changes the option okay and it's cloning the all project he asks you are you uh, sure you want to continue connecting because of it's uh, we are using the hhs key that's why it's asking so enter the s and enter and all the project here clone here so see these are the clone project okay so in this way we see how to clone the project from your gitlab to local computer okay so see next step is these are the steps we have to use here so after that how to push the file or code to gitlab using hss key okay so how we can create if uh, now this project we are clone here okay this project we are clone here and what we have to do here if you have to correction in your demo one file text file okay so open firstly hello world this is a dev send okay enter how are you and enter some message here or some code and after that i will type bye and save it okay so i will 
make changes in a what demo one okay so close this and this uh we changing this uh, text document and this uh, changing text document we have to push the our code push the our gitlab okay so what we have to do or we have to do same copy firstly this text document and press the uh, paste here another and here give we we are giving another name Sam. and this uh, another text document or word file we are uh, new created word file or text document uh, this text document we have to post the uh, from the local repository to the gitlab so what we have to do we have to do firstly this gitlab go to gitlab and use here git add okay we have to use git add come on so add it and enter what it's wrong here so okay it's a new folder firstly we have to go inside the devops scene or okay let me check it firstly okay Okay, see here, firstly we have to go the inside the DevOps hint folder. Okay, and there are here files are present. Okay, so firstly we have to go inside this DevOps hint and, and after that we will use this git add. So see here, git status. And see, this is a modified demo one text. Okay. And it's a new file, sample text. So now what step we have to do? We have to commit this both file. So use git commit hyphen m and give the message here. So use git commit hyphen m and give your message like a modified files and new file added and enter and see the status this file we are committed this demo one and sample this file we are committed and this is ready for the push okay so what we have to do now get status we will check here and see nothing to commit here now because it's a use git push to publish lo your local comments okay so what we have to do next we have to do check the branch and push the these files to the GitLab. So use here git branch. You can see branch here from here, and it's a master branch. Sometimes it's get a main branch. Okay. So use now git push origin. And here master uh, branch is present. If you, you get the main branch, then use the main okay so we have have master okay so i will use master so enter and it's uh, ready for the push it, it's a uh, completely push the both file okay so now how we can check the, the uh, these files are push or not so go to project and refresh this page okay then you get these updated files
So see here, this is a modified files, modified files and new added it, okay? And it's a sample text. It's a new file added here. So in this way, we can see, we were see how to clone this project and how to push the project. And firstly, we, we were see how to create the HHS key in your win on your window and use the HHS key. Okay, so in this way, our topic is complete here and we will meet next time. And thank you for the watching video.